Hey guys, this is Sir Patel, CEO of Beverage Trade Network and USA Wine Ratings, and I have Tim Hanai with me here, Master of Wine. Hello. I want to talk about this uh, special episode, you know, back to the beginning of USA Wine Ratings especially. Tim was one of the individuals which I personally consulted uh, about that, okay, we want to do something, uh, you know, how do we judge, what, uh, what is the judging process, what kind of judges are involved, what, are, what should be the metrics, you know, so he really helped us designing this competition. Uh, so let's go on there, right? Like when, if you remember, Tim, uh, we discussed that we want to make this a relevant competition. We want to involve package because that is also an important factor which people do buy with, right? Uh, what you know i don't i'm trying to remember our memory but you know uh, when we discuss quality value and package let's stick with this three right you know uh, what was your uh, process that you did and you also suggested that it's it's good well it, it you know take taking in my many years as as a buyer and um and my my uh, hyper focus on consumers it's really okay uh, a quality of 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 the material the of the wine is is actually you know it's an imperative and that's the basis for most things but in the reality is people going in into a store they're in a restaurant looking at the wine list and uh, so price is such an an important factor in things and with with the incredible explosion of prices and how expensive things is, have gotten um, thought you know that would be just uh, almost an imperative to include that that quality price hmm. ratio uh, so that went in mm -hmm. and what's really fun is in the judging process when uh, uh, w with every judge that I've worked with in this you know there are certain ones well oh that's really nice but that price <laughs> you know mm -hmm. um, and then and then the flip side of that is um, well, that's really nice, and that's the price, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And that's really how people shop, and that's a big True. part of the entire experience. Some people just just buy because it's expensive, and then their brain will tell True. them I mean, they like they it. They think that it will be good. A yeah, test if it's, exactly. Yeah. And and so there's there's the price bias in the uh, uh, what's what's called in the the neuroscience of of consumer behavior and so on. It's it's the decision tree. Mm -hmm. It's what's the what boxes are being checked off in the brain of the of the person making the purchase, and then how do they rationalize it when they're serving it and talking about mm -hmm. it and that that kind of thing? And then the the other part is the uh, the packaging, which some some people buy virtually on packaging alone. They mm -hmm. see a beautiful label or it has an element that mm -hmm. attracts them to it. So by putting those three together, uh, we, we we just had a wine that we're we're just going through. Okay, wow, that's really good. The price is right in line. Ooh, what were they thinking on the package? <laughs> yeah, oh. it's just like, what? What are you thinking? You know, you want people to, to, to be attracted to yes, the wine. Yes, you know, yes. and for the most part, uh, you know, in a retail environment, especially, but also online, uh, uh, very much so. It's such an important part of that decision, mm. and uh, so here, here was somebody who made just a terrific wine, really well priced, but I, I frankly wouldn't want it on my table, mm. you know. And conversely, yep. <laughs> where where you've got a uh, the the other elements are out of whack, but somebody really hit a home run with the package. So, um, it, it I think it just it it involves more of the decision making, the mind's eye of the consumer in in the whole the whole it. picture. Uh, we also had one. I mean, I mean, you've judged many competitions. You've been involved, you know, uh, and as a judge, two thousands, I guess, by now. Uh, one of the thing which I wanted to make sure that brands see a different value prop in this. Yes, you know, it's just not another. Uh, competition basically because right. there are many right so uh what do you see i mean personally from you it will mean a lot like what do you see as a good value proposition that brands will are getting from this yeah so so for me uh the way i define a brand it actually goes back to when something was burned into a cow or a, a, a convict or uh an end of a box or something to show ownership, mm -hmm. all right? So the, the brand is the thing that in the, 
in the brain of the consumer that they correlate then to the the product mm. and the quality of the product and mm. the people who make it and so forth. And in in a more uh, modern context, the brand is something that's indelibly burned into the psyche of a consumer mm -hmm. that they either trust or they don't trust or they're uncertain about. Mm -hmm. And uh, by by utilizing this approach, and especially when we're getting so many wines from so many great places around the world, uh, last Saturday night I was up at midnight to conduct a wine business course for Ukrainian winemakers. Mm. We had 50 people on the call. Mm -hmm. Now, as we see wines from the former, former Soviet Georgia, as we're seeing wines from Moldova mm -hmm. and all around the U.S., from Nebraska to, mm -hmm. to, to uh, you'll, you'll have people who are working really hard, and I love doing, doing work with those, mm -hmm. those kind of people, but they might not know really about the marketing and the, right. and, the, and the challenge of the, uh, I, I think now the estimate, uh, it just in the past five years of how many products are available at any given moment yeah. in the United States has gone from 100,000 to 300,000 yeah. so in I mean, less than 10 years. Basically, you know, if they attach this win or gold or whatever they have won, right? At least it's telling the trade a story that, okay, this is by quality value and package. Yes. You're associating this with, with uh, the way, I mean, uh, trade buys. Exactly. And, and the, the more subtle difference is for the wineries who are, are making an entrance into the market, mm -hmm. um, the negative feedback can be really, really important mm -hmm. for them to say, okay, we got the quality in the bottle, we got a great price, but maybe we need to rethink, you know, yeah. how, how it looks and, and, uh, and, yeah. and the presence that we're creating. Or it might be that they've, they've got the, 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 the packaging and the pricing, but they need to do work on the quality or whatever. So, um, and, and that's when we were talking in, in the early days in developing this, is the feedback that we're providing, sometimes it could be used as marketing verbiage, yeah. but a lot of times it's really just a note to the winery. True. <laughs> you know, True. you need to look at your sulfite levels or you need to, to, mm -hmm. to, to uh, create a little bit better balance or this, this wine isn't really indicative of the character and the style of mm -hmm. the grape and those things. So it's that nice feedback loop that they can then hopefully learn. I think one of the things I'm trying to remember, I mean, it's almost six years, uh, is the judges part, right? The last mm -hmm. one. Uh, did we have a conversation that every panel should have a master of wine? Because I, I personally still think that we are the only competition that has the highest master of wines ratio. Ratio. Mm -hmm. uh, so do you remember that? Or, yeah, uh, I, I do. Uh, and, and, and again, trying to trying to find balance in each of the of the panels so so you've got representation of the buyers because mm -hmm. they're those are the you know the retail and the restaurant buyers are that's that's really so critical uh, when I'm teaching wine business I, I I focus a lot on okay it's not just selling to consumers mm -hmm. you've got to have your your product, your package, and so on. And then you've got a whole series of gatekeepers you've got to navigate to get the product mm. to, to the actual consumer. So is it meeting the, checking all the boxes of the buyer for, for a store? Are you doing the things that the sommeliers and the restaurant buyers are looking for mm -hmm. and, and so forth? So, uh, so having the mixture of the, uh, uh, many masters of wine tend to be more technically focused in their tasting and their mm. their note writing and so on. And I know I am. And then there's people like Peter Marks, and nobody knows where he's <laughs> coming from. Oh, hi, Peter. Uh, uh, but but uh, it's nice nice to have that balance as well in in terms. And I think when when it finally gets to the point where okay, now we're selling the wine, and we yeah. we got these scores, and we got this feedback. And we know it was from people who are the people that we need to get through to get to the consumer. Uh, any suggestions or anything that you uh, have for us, let's say, uh, for the next chapter? Or maybe how do we evolve, if I asked you? You know, uh, are we still current? You know, or what is the new thing that you think that maybe if, if uh, there was there? 
Well, I, I, I think the model's sound. So I really like how you've taken it and run with it after our early mm -hmm. things. You've been, you're constantly collecting uh, data and collecting uh, uh, comments and uh, positive and negative and evolving it. Uh, I love the, the platform that you developed. One of the things you do so well is, is, is how you bring the tech into it. I think he would love it. He's the person who did yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Kudos. <laughs> I mean, it's really well organized. I like the way that, that everything rolls into the next and you can clearly see. So it makes the navigation as a, as a judge mm -hmm. is, is excellent. And then I know for you guys at, at the back end of it, that, that it's easier. So I think it's a matter of evolution now. Yeah. And then also um, uh, encouraging uh, the submissions and, and building it out and, and continuing to build on the successes. Mm -hmm.